Hi everyone, I'm Anna from Viviana Does Makeup and yes, it's January, favourites time already, so today I'm going to show you some of my favourite beauty bits from the month and even a pair of trainers that I have been loving. But I'm going to kick things off with a few skincare bits that have kind of come to the forefront of my stash this month and the first thing I showed you in my rather large beauty haul video and there's a few bits actually that have kind of made it into this video from that spree because they're really good purchases and the first thing is this and it's from Aesop and it's their Camomile Concentrate Anti-Blemish Mask. It's just a clay based mask, it looks a little something like this. Put it on your face for 10 minutes, wash it off and your skin feels so clean after you've washed it off. I'm not sure I've ever felt my skin feel this clean after a mask and I've been having a few blemishes around my chin and I've just been using this kind of on that area. It says only use it once a week but I've been using it about twice a week and it's fine um, but it's kind of helping to get rid of them and like I said it just feels so clean and cleansed after this. I just cleanse my face and then use a little bit of this and then continue on with my routine as normal and so for spots this is definitely coming in very handy. Then the next item that I've just got to give a nod to is this serum and it's from Sarah Chapman and it's their Skin Assist Intense Hydrating Booster and I'm on a bit of a serum roll at the moment. There was a serum included in my last monthly favourites but I think I prefer this one. It's basically the only serum I've been using for the last month, probably even more and if you like Hydroluron you will like this. To me, this is the more sophisticated, nicer feeling on the skin version of Hydroluron. It just, whereas Hydroluron can sometimes have that tackiness to it, which I guess works as a bit of a glue for anything you put on top, this just leaves your skin so smooth that half the time I'm tempted not to even bother putting on anything up because I always do. But you know when your skin just feels so nice and nourished and just sinks in, it feels all silky, and I really, really, really love this. A lot of the Sarah Chapman stuff I've really been enjoying this month. I've done a blog post on it, so I will link that below, but it just comes with a little dropper thing. All very fancy, and there's actually three different types. I think there's like a complexion enhancer, and then an exfoliating serum, which I have got my eyes on for my next purchase. Moving on to hair, and I have Lily Pebbles to thank for this one. It is the wet brush. I won't bring it too close because I've just used it and it's full of my hair and sodding wet. But this is a kind of tangled teaser, but specifically for wet hair. You can pick it up from Sally's. I think it's around like six, seven pounds. Oh my word. Lily told me this was better than the tangle teaser and I was like yeah whatever I've been loving the tangle teaser for about two years now didn't really want to hear it but I'm telling you that girl has unruly hair and so I was like if Lily likes this I've got to give it a go and she was right it is absolutely awesome I can't work out what exactly makes it better than the tangle teaser but there's just something about it that just glides through my hair it is quicker it's just faster than tangle teaser and it's like a standard hairbrush so you don't feel like you're a dog grooming your own hair it's just nice to kind of have that handle and it just works really really well so if you haven't really got on with a tangle teaser or you're looking for a brush to go through wet hair with this is a really good pick let's move on to the good stuff makeup and the first thing it's like a little combination that i've been enjoying and it's the chanel vita lumiere aqua foundation and then the louise young i think it's called their super foundation brush can't remember the number of it, LY34. These two together make a beautiful combination for a really sheer coverage, natural looking base that's really, really quick to put on. This is what I've been going for if I'm just kind of like, not really too bothered what my base looks like or at the weekend when I don't want anything with too much coverage. I just put a dollop on the top of this brush, blend it all over my face in a matter of seconds and it's done. It's really nice if you don't want to use your fingers. Sometimes I can't be really asked to get them all dirty and whatever. You can just use this brush. It is really good. I think this is an amazing brush for sheer coverage days, perhaps not one for building up like a full kind of full on base. But if you just want something quite sheer and natural looking, this is great. I've been using it for concealer as well. I've been using it for contour. It's been coming in really handy. Now prepare to swoon because I know there has been a whole bevy of neutral coloured eyeshadow palettes coming out recently but the one I have actually ended up reaching for most this month comes from Smashbox and it's their full exposure palette 
and in there you get 14 shades and along the top they're all shimmery shades like quite shimmery actually really metallic and then on the bottom you've got matte shades and they kind of go from cool on one side to warm on the other and this is what I've got on my eyes today and I tend to be using a combination of these two so the lighter neutrals um, all over the lid with a bit of the darker kind of neutral in the crease and then also a bit of the dark matte as an eyeliner and kind of in the crease as well um, these eyeshadows are really 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 good I don't I've never given Smashbox eyeshadows a go before actually but they go on so nicely really really soft they blend really well really high pigmentation very very impressed and I'm trying desperately to find the brush that goes with this palette because the brush is awesome I think it's under my chair found it and this is the brush that comes with it and usually brushes in these palettes I don't have a lot of time for but this one is great it's got a side for shimmer that has synthetic bristles and it's more kind of packed together and then there's a side for matte and it's slightly longer natural bristles and really quite good for blending and today I just used this brush did my eyes done uh, I think it's 36 37 ish pounds but a really nice option if you're someone who likes a lot of matte shades and it's nice to have the option to go shimmery or go matte in there as well and huge mirror at the top really like this this one also cropped up in that haul video and it's from Maybelline and it's their Colour Sensational Shine Gloss in Cashmere Rose. Love this shade. So many of you commented on this shade in the comments of that video to say that it looked rather nice on my lips, so thank you for that. But this is something I've just been carrying around in my bag, it's the one I kind of lob in there and it's fabulous. I've been using it loads, it has an amazing scent. If you're not really a lip gloss girl, which I'm not particularly a lip gloss girl, because you find them quite gloopy, this is one for you. It is so kind of sheer on the lips, but it has a touch of colour to it. Not gloopy at all, not sticky, actually feels quite nourishing on the lips. So definitely want to pick up some more of this range because I've been very impressed. January was the first month where I discovered the Deborah Lipman nail polish range, which has now been rolled out across the UK. Not the cheapest of nail polishes, but boy are they beautiful. I first started off with Modern Love, which is a really nice mauve neutral shade. Super impressed with the formula, really impressed with the colour, and I have a post on all of that jazz, so I will link that below as well. And then I discovered this stunner, which is Cleopatra in New York. It's a black, opaque gel shade with different sizes of golden glitter in there. Completely off piste for me, like not something I would usually go for but I saw it, I was like wow that is incredible, I have to get it on my nails now, I will include a picture for you just so you can see it in action and that was around three, four coats so it did take a while to kind of get the glitter, <laughs> get the glitter like up and looking quite opaque. It also took a while to get it off but I'd rather forget that episode. Really, really nice. If you're looking for something new in your nail stash, these are great. Then a few miscellaneous things that I've also been loving. I have been obsessed with this new website called Shop Anomi, which is created by Chelsea Wears here on YouTube. It's a jewellery website, and I'm not usually a jewellery girl. I'm not like massively into it. You probably know I don't really wear that much these days, the odd ring, the odd necklace, but it is gorgeous. It's like the non-jewellery lovers jewellery website that's kind of Everything up there is so modern, so simple, everything is so chic. I basically want it all and I have this necklace that she gave me and it is stunning. I really, really like it. It's just very dainty and I have been getting a load of wear out of this since I got it. And then another kind of fashion-y thing is a pair of trainers. Now this one is a bit of a shocker because I previously only owned two pair of trainers, a pair of Converse, that my best mate Mel got me for my 16th birthday, which is a very long time ago. And then I think there are a pair of Adidas ones which I got when I was in sixth form, and they've kind of just seen me through whenever I've decided to take up sports again, I've always just gone back to those. I never, ever, ever wear trainers, I just wear flat boots basically all the time. But then I saw these, these are the Nike free runs, I think they're the 5.0 version. Oh my god, I saw them because I wanted to get back into doing a bit of like fitness and workouty stuff. I thought as motivation, I'm going to get myself a new pair of trainers. Crazy girly maths, I know. 
But I've been wearing these not just for like working out anymore. I wore these this morning to the supermarket. I was like, I don't care. They are comfortable. And with a pair of skinny jeans, I think they look quite like chic, really. They're so comfortable. And honestly, I've never walked to the station quicker than when I was wearing these. So these are really, really nice if you're kind of into something you can wear for like your fitness and workouts, but also kind of get them in your everyday life as well. I would highly recommend these. And then my final favourite of the month has been posting more about food. I will link up the food posts that I've done on Vivienne Does Makeup if you haven't seen them already, but I've posted about some dip recipes that I love doing and some breakfast ideas that I whip up in the morning and there's plenty more to come because you guys really like them and I really like cooking food. In fact, my most kind of extravagant trial yet, tonight I'm gonna to try and cook a beef wellington and a chocolate fondant. With, we'll see how this one goes. But um, I'm kind of enjoying like mixing up a bit more. There's now a bit more style. There'll be the odd fitness post and the odd food post kind of mixed in with the beauty because just to like freshen it up a bit. So I hope you've been enjoying that. And I'm really looking forward to my next video. I think you guys are gonna like it. It's another get ready with me video. And also me and Lily are filming another beauty chat video soon. And we're gonna theme it this time with the theme drugstore. So if you guys have any drugstore related makeup queries, then pop them in the comments below and we will try our best to answer them in that video. But I hope you guys all had an amazing January and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.